Chapter 15, Biology and Genetics. In the ancient society, children were not taught as children are taught in today's schools. They were not incarcerated in classrooms for hours on end, being denied the natural physical movement that all children crave and the freedom to roam free from miles around and investigate everything. Their education was not an intellectual indoctrination that today's education clearly is. Rather, it was education through experience, allowing all children to discover firsthand what adults already knew, all the while under their guidance. Their teaching system was called initiation. The education of young people was divided into segments of seven year periods. At the end of each segment, they graduated as a group in their town or district clan. Their graduations are called initiation festivals. They were large feasts with music and dancing and the entire clan was invited. They were taught biology from the age of about seven. The first lesson was to teach them the definition of biology. They asked many questions along the way and their teachers answered every single one in a practical real life way. In order to bring us closer to their teaching situation and in order to convey their knowledge as accurately as I can, I will narrate the following as if it is a discussion between me and one of the teachers with me asking all the questions. So the first question I would ask is, what is biology? It is the knowledge of how the plants and animals in the body of the black man and woman were created. How were the plants and animals created? All the species of plants and animals that exist on earth today developed from the 144,000 original prototypes. What are the 144,000 original prototypes? They are the 144,000 parts of the black person's character. They include courage, wisdom, goodness, strength, grace, honesty, authority, gentleness, abundance, beauty, friendliness, unlaziness, humor, and many more, totaling 144,000. The vast majority of the parts or aspects of character do not have names in the English language. In the original languages, every aspect has two names, one for the animal and one for the plant. One original plant and one original animal were created for each aspect of your character. So every aspect of a black person's character is represented by a plant and animal? Yes, but only the original plants and animals represent character. All the other millions of species developed from these original prototypes. What about the body of the black person? How was it created? Originally, the 144,000 characters were united as one character, and it had a form. That form is the body of the Black man and woman. The two bodies differ because while many of the aspects are neutral, a large number of them are more masculine, and the same number are far more feminine, although both men and women have 144,000. Then, after the aspects were united as one in the human body, they were then separated into 144,000 individual parts and each part was given a form. These forms became the original plants and animals. Where are these prototype plants and animals? They are in the custody of the 144,000 judges. Where, right here on earth? They were, yes, and they will be again soon. They are temporarily removed to a safe place for a cycle. When the present cycle comes to an end, they will be returned to their original place.